What's good you guys? It's your girl African Radiance aka Jazz. In today's video, I am going to show you the ultimate shower routine for the fall and the winter. If you are anything like me and you get super dry skin due to the changes of the weather or the seasons, then this shower routine is definitely going to be a huge staple for you. I'm going to show you my basic tips to just having hydrated skin and also just smelling good, feeling good, and looking good. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, before we get into it, I wanted to show you guys these um, shower fizzies, aromatherapy. They smell so freaking good for the shower. I love it. Now, as my base wash, I'm going in with an unscented Dove soap bar. This is just, you know, just to get the base clean before I get into the body wash. I feel like this stuff is important. I normally go in with a soft, like, exfoliating glove. But I didn't have one, so I settled for the rag. And... I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I go in with a, another rag to wash my back door area. I can't use the same rag on my body that I do my back door area. Call me wasteful, say I'm doing too much. That's just the life that I live. Um, but I'm going in with my exfoliating cloth love this thing. Um, it's like a dupe for an African net. I would say get an African net because it's you know it's a little bit better, but this gets rid of dead skin just as well and to pair with that i'm going in with my dove body wash mousse it has rose oil in it and when i say it, it's so good it smells so good it has that um shaving cream like consistency which i actually like because it feels so good on my skin and my skin feels like very soft afterwards and i actually can shave with it which is basically a bonus for me love that I know people have their opinions on Dove, but I don't have a problem with it when it comes to like, just like my body. Um, I love it, I love it. Okay, but now I'm going in with my KP Bump Eraser. If you have KP, you know that it, yeah. It's ghetto. It's very ghetto, but I like to use the KP Bump um, eraser on my legs, under my arms. You can also use it for like your butt, like if you have like uh, those little mini little bumps that's on your butt and stuff. It's great for like strawberry legs, which I do have, and also it helps soothe my underarms after like I wax and everything. Love it. Then I go in with my Dove Exfoliating Polish. Um, it's crushed macadamia and rice milk. Love it, love the way it smells, love the consistency. Um, I only use it on my arms and my thighs and sometimes my feet. It really does exactly what it says. It polishes your skin. You guys need to try this one out. For right now, for my intimate area, I, I go in with Honey Pot. That's pretty much it. Now, my second to last for my in-shower um, moisturization is this Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. Invest in this. Please, ladies and gentlemen, invest in this. It smells so good, so rich. Just, uh, it works instantly. Like, just massage that thing into your body and you'll feel good. Now this is my crucial step. I go in with the Coco Divine Oil Gel. It is amazing. When I tell you that is like that extra moisturization. Like just look how the water sits on my skin after I applied it. Like the water is just like 
stuck there like I know I locked in that moisture and it smells so good it smells so good it smells divine actually now for my base perfume I'm going in with the you're the one body mist I get that from Bath and Body Works um I spray mine in specific spots and I'm going to put on the screen the best spots to put it to have that all around good scent that can last you. So like when you walk by, people going to smell you, baby. And you see how the water is still like sitting on my skin? Like, I like that. I dab the water off. I don't like rub my towel all over me because I'm trying to obtain as much moisture as possible. Like I said, I get dry. So we dab, not rub. Now I'm going to put y'all on to this little hack that I learned. Um, it's basically just taking witch hazel and, you know, doing a clean swipe in your back door area. I learned this from McKenna's channel. Um, I'll link her channel in here. I am so glad that I found out about this particular hat because when I tell you, your girl be smelling fresh and she be feeling fresh. put y'all on another little mini hack of mine um it's missing your lotion with an oil here i am using the measurable difference jasmine oil um i mix it with my lotion and i just rub it all over my body and sometimes i might get a little more lotion and then put some oil on top like i said i'm trying to be hydrated as much as possible As you can see, I'm getting into it. I can't stop rubbing on myself. Like, my body just feels super, super soft, super hydrated. And it's, it, it got a little glow to it. And I'm just proud of that because, like, that's something I've never been able to obtain for years trying to figure it out. And, you know, so, yeah, I'm feeling myself. Then I'm going in with Coach's Eau de Parfum. I love the way this scent makes me smell bougie, but it's subtle. I really need to get some more because I love this perfume. This is my last step, you guys, I promise, okay? I am going in with Aquaphor's Healing Ointment. I use this all the time on my lips, sometimes on my face, but mostly I like to focus it on the places that get dry the easiest, which is my elbows, my knees, and my feet, especially the heels of my feet. 
invest in this you guys please invest in this i don't care if it's the ointment or the cream it is going to do exactly what it needs to do but that's pretty much the end of my shower routine i hope you guys love the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one be easy boo